Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. Today I am going to show how to prepare this beautiful violin box plot. In this paper, they have used this violin box plot. It was published in January 2021 in Environmental Science and Pollution Research. I will give this link in the description below. Now, very easy way, I will prepare this graph. Open your prism. I am using GraphPad Prism 9. If you do not know how to install the crack version of Prism, go to my previous lecture. Now, go to this column option. Now, click enter or import data into a new table. And you should click create. Okay, this interface will be open. And copy your data. I have this data. Copy it. And, and paste here using control V okay this data you can rename it your data right click here and rename sheet violin plot here the graph section see this graph section click here then this interface will be open and now your graph family must be in column and you should click box and violin then you can create this violin this is a vertical violin this is a horizontal violin now i am creating this vertical violin you can also use violin with show all point also you can use truncated violin i'll plot violin plot only okay now just ok now if you have to do lots of change in this violin plot the first change your size right click here and resize graph right click and resize graph and here you can find more choice click it you can change by typing here semi or you can change by typing here percentage ok see the size of the violin graph is increased. Now you have to change this title. If you not require this exist title, just click it and delete from your keyboard. If you need this title, just click it and type here. Like performance. Okay. If you want to change it the size, just click it here and see here the font size 22. It is better to keep it 14. You can change everything from this tab. You only focus only this tab for graph section. This is a graph section. Okay. You should focus only this. There is a format axis tab. Click here. Now this interface will be open. You can format like I want to give a frame. Just go to here the frame and origin. Now frame and grid line here the various option of frame I want to choose plain frame and apply then it will be appear like this I want to also remove this minor grid line here the minor grid size y axis this is left y axis and minor grid size that's mean you have to select 0 in the left y axis minor grid 0 and apply ok now if you want to remove this line you can just select only regular and apply okay now i want to format more click this format graph this option and it will be open like this here you have to understand one thing this setting there is a change all setting that's been global okay in the global setting if you select change all data set that means all data set will be changed so global i want to change border thickness into 3 okay then you can change the color also by clicking this i want to change the median thickness to and also 
I want to change the color. Okay. We have the quartile option. You can change the quartile. Okay. Now I want to give the colors inside this. You can select one by one. Select this. Give any color. Next select this. So I see the color. Okay, now apply. See, it is done. I want to remove the title because always I prefer the caption or title in the item. You can also change this setting font size 14. Now done. Just one thing need here export. Here the export option. You can also mail to anybody. You can also export by right clicking. Right click here. Here the option export. Okay. Or you can export into your word file by clicking here. Okay. It will open a word file. Let's see. And also you can open in PowerPoint. You can also export by tip format, EMA format, automatically file format is EMF. You can also select PNG, BMP, TIF, everything. You can also change the resolution 600 and selecting 600. You can choose the folder path and to save it in my desktop. So select folder, violin plot okay and okay okay now see this is a violin plot beautiful plot is ready now see this publication here yeah, they have explained very accurately how to interpret the red data read this paper for interpreting the violin graph so this is our violin plot uh, it is more or less similar to the box and whisker plot uh, but uh, it, it shows more information about the distribution of the data set like the violin shows the density of the data at a given y value with the age of violin uh, extending further from the midline in a manner proportionate to density of data at the y value also violin plot are particularly useful to use when you have a large amount of data and you want to present on a graph to demonstrate the distribution of the data set. And in this case, scatter plot is not suitable and it will be much suitable uh, in violin plot. So here see, this is a median value, this is a third quartile and this is a first quartile and between this value, first third quartile and first quartile, this is an interquartile range, this is a maximum value and this is a minimum value. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I will upload videos every day. Please subscribe my channel. Happy learning.